everyone. Good afternoon. Today is the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Wasn't it nice to see our seminarian Patrick Thorpe at Mass today? He, he came home this weekend to his home parish of St. Mary, and he spoke to us about the annual, annual St. Charles Seminary Appeal. It's a very important, our seminary is beautiful. Did you take a look at the bulletin this weekend? Isn't that nice? That's a very nice picture of the, this is the theologate or the graduate school. That's the center of the house of what they call the upper side or the graduate school of uh, our seminary. And Patrick Thorpe, as you know, is a seminarian studying for the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. And he's doing a wonderful, wonderful job there by being a good student, a good prayer, and really being a very good listener to God as he discerns his call to the priesthood. Well, as he goes along, we'll see if this is really what God wants him to do. We're all rooting for you, Patrick. We're all praying for you. And if it is God's will that you're a priest, blessed be God. But whatever God decides, blessed be God. But I'm so glad that you're a good listener. Because that's what a discerner is, to discern whether or not this is your vocation to be a priest. And I invite young men, I mean, mom and dad, do you want to make sure you show this reflection to your son? Please do. Because I don't know if they're thinking about the priesthood. Sometimes young men are a little anxious or concerned or afraid. You know, I don't want to go into the seminary. How about if it's not for me? That's okay. But you tried. How can you figure out if this is not for you unless you first go to the seminary? See, the word seminary mean, means seed. It's a time to learn and to grow. It's a time to allow God's word and his call to flourish in your very being whatever that call may be. Now, I have to say to you, the seminary is there as a place for the formation of future priests, but it's also the formation of good Catholic men. Because sometimes those good Catholic men realize that God is calling them to the married life. And they're like, it wasn't until I was in the seminary that I knew and I heard God inviting me to marry life. I came in thinking he was inviting me to be a priest, but he was inviting me to be married. That's okay. That's why I want to tell all young men, if you think you have a tug in your heart that God is calling you to the priesthood, apply. Apply to the seminary. Come. Come on in. And, and listen attentively to God's voice saying to you, yes, I am calling you to the priesthood. Or maybe at this particular time not. Maybe to another vocation. Maybe to the married life. Maybe to the religious life. Maybe to the brotherhood. But whatever it is, I think it's a good opportunity for young men to try the seminary. And when I say try the seminary, I mean to step in and to see if this is really the vocation that God is calling you to. Because if we don't, we'll never be happy. Could you imagine if God's calling you to be a priest and you get married? It won't work out because he intends for you to be a priest. Could you imagine if you got married, but God intends you to be a brother? What happens? It doesn't work out. No matter what the field is, well, now what the vocation is, you have to listen attentively to God's word, his voice to say, what am I being called to? I'll give you an example. Many young people 
don't know what they are to do with their life. They're confused. Many people who talk to me, Father, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with my life. Well, what do you hear God saying? I, I, I don't know. I, I said, do you pray each day? I said, you need to pray. Because in order to find out what God is wanting of you, you have to stop, be quiet, pray, and listen. And only then, after a period of time, will you know where to go. For me, that voice was strong and strong each day. Seminary. Seminary. How are you saying to me, don't think of marriage, not you. Seminary for you. And I'm like, okay, Lord. And that was my calling. I felt it very strong in my life as a kid. I knew what he was saying. But I had to be very attentive to it. And I followed that. I followed the voice of God in my heart. And I entered St. Charles Seminary. I went to this seminary. I went to the graduate school and to the college. I love this place. It wasn't always easy for me, as it is not easy for anybody. But it definitely is a place that I could call my home when I was being formed into the priest I am today. And I had many other mentors, my parish priest, the priest that I met at the seminary, the priest that I met in my deacon assignment. They all helped me. And even as a young priest in my assignments, they all helped in the formation of who I am today. And I also want to say to everybody, my family, my friends, and parishioners also formed me into the priest that I am today. And God willing, that formation will continue on until the day I'm dead. Because I want to continue to be better and more attuned to what God wants. So today, Patrick Thorpe, a seminarian, is speaking, has spoken to us about the seminary, about the need to have a seminary, a need for an appeal for the people of their prayers and of their financial support. I think those two treasuries, the, the spiritual treasury and the financial treasury are important for any good work of God. You need to pray. I mean, can I tell you that we pray here every day? I don't know if you do at home, but every day we pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood of religious life. Because Jesus said, pray to the master of the harvest, that he would send more laborers into his vineyard. So we pray. And we support financially our seminary. I do personally. I know you do, and people throughout this archdiocese do. It's a big undertaking to have a seminary in the Archdiocese of Philadelphia, but it's a good place. They do fantastic work. I'm telling you that because I'm very much in tune with the Archdiocese and our seminary. I'm on various committees, just like people are on various committees in the parish. I'm on various committees in the Archdiocese, and I see the work that people do, the hard work, and the work they do at our seminary. So I'm, I'm very grateful. We have a good place. We need prayers, and we need people's financial support. And I'm grateful for Patrick, who, who's a young man and stands before everybody and just thanks them, encourages them, and is grateful, especially in this month of November, the month of thanks, the month of thanksgiving. So let us continue to be thankful to Almighty God for the gift of vocations, for the gift of St. Charles Seminary, for the gift of these young men who are responding, yes, yes to Christ's invitation to be a priest. God bless you all and have a wonderful Sunday. Thank you.